we are back. We're back. We're uh, back. Uh, hello. <laughs> uh, we're back and at a different time. Uh, welcome to Thursday, or what the fuck's the name of the show? Defector Thursday Night Trivia uh, at 5 p.m. Eastern. Uh, yeah, I announced this a couple weeks ago and now we're here. Uh, cool. I'm hosting today. Um, I think my boards are fine. Uh, yeah. I don't think they're like brutally <laughs> difficult. I'll put it this way. There's a Ray Rado category, but I think it's probably the most sensical Ray Rado category that I've ever used. They're Ray questions. It's not about Ray. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Harry Horse. Thank you for gifting 20 subs. Damn. Ooh, whoa. whoa. Yeah. Oh, huge. Oh, my goodness. Uh, really appreciate that, man. Thank you. Uh, I lost my train of thought because of that, but that's fine. Uh, oh, playing, we got Jasper, Patrick, Drew, Roth, Barry. Um, I don't know if anyone else is coming. If they are, we will go ahead and add them. Uh, do I have any announcements? We have, uh, remember some guys next week. Maybe another stream. We got to figure that out. Yeah, that's it. Uh, let's just get going because I want to get back to watching the basketball. Um... One second. I have to do this on my second computer, as always. Uh, let me fix that. Okay, cool. So, our uh, categories today. We got Whose Line Is It Anyway? Uh, I'm going to play you a very short clip from a TV show, and you have to tell me what TV show it is. Is the TV show Whose Line Is It Anyway? No. Oh. I will tell you that for free. The answer to this is none of it. They're all like <laughs> what I would consider relatively popular shows from like 2000 on. So it's not like super obscure stuff. It's I've, not like Rizzoli and Isles. I mean, Very I should have put Rizzoli. And, actually, no, I, I'm I more of a, I'm a Franklin really and Bash you. guy. I really don't know if I trust you. <laughs> well, we'll find out. Um, big March Madness shots. I'm going to give you the game, uh, the year, what part of the tournament was in. All of these games have, like, one notable, like, memorable, you know, all-time shot. You have to tell me what player shot it. Uh, Ooh. I think it's nice. tricky, but not that tricky. Uh, Luis Core, <laughs> uh, I'm going to give you three song titles. You have to tell me the artist. Uh, you get double points if you also tell me the album that these songs are from. Are they all Paramore? None of them are Paramore. <laughs> I'll also give you that one for free. Wow. Wow. Uh, Aftermath headlines from their Inside Baseball theme week, which they had last week. Uh, I'm going to give you a headline with some words taken out of it. You just have to tell me what the words are. Um, one second. Uh, and Ray Rado presents uh, Competitive Perfection, which is uh, a number, and you have to tell me what sport it corresponds to, and all of them involve being perfect in that sport. Oh, well, that's Wait, fun. Yeah. Before yeah. we get started, can yes. I present some... Unbelievable Ray Rado lore that I learned yesterday yes, that I still absolutely. don't like understand. Um, <clears throat> I sought comment from him on the El Faro Lito blog. Um, he told me he has never, not only never eaten there, he's never had a burrito in his life. What? <laughs> what? Wow. So he told me. Like, if he didn't live in the Bay Area, I would be like, okay, like, that's a little weird. Wire. But like, you live in the Bay Area. Come on. Yeah, it's shocking. That's... Wasn't okay, there that... something Sammer had never eaten in his life? Oh, or was it like familiar? Or was it like a movie he had never watched? We all probably have something. Yeah, there's a like lot of that. those blind spots, but burritos also, is not. No, I mean it was something. It was something very basic. It was like mm. what? And he he was like, well, I just haven't. I just never been served a chicken nugget or something like that. I can't mm. remember. <laughs> Someone that isn't me, just message him in Slack real quick, and we'll we'll do that in between rounds because I want to. Ray is also like this is the other thing is that he's like a food legend like he's got there was like a restaurant like a sports bar in oakland that had like a you could order like a sandwich that was named after him yeah so the idea that there's like anything that he hasn't tried out there like but he's had hot pot. That's I have a not burrito. Hot pot. yeah mm -hmm. uh the chat by the way went what 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 <laughs> when referred to that so no one said k no but someone did drop a bunch <laughs> of question marks and rado's not loving it anyway uh jasper you were the first one in, so you can go first. Uh, let's do big March Madness shots for three. Big March Madness shots for three. Gonzaga over UCLA in the 2021 Final Four. By the way, all of these were game winners except one, which I will note when we get to it. This was recent, and I have no recollection of this at all. Uh, I'm just going to say the one name I remember, which is, I think, Drew Tim. 
Tim, Timmy, right? Timmy. Timmy. It's not him. Timmy? I think it's okay. Timmy. I don't know. Uh, no, Roth. Pretty sure I do remember this because this, this is the one thing that made me think this dude was going to be a good NBA player, which is Jalen Suggs hit this, right? It was Jalen yeah. Suggs. Oh. And he, he kind of is a good NBA player he is now, a good NBA weirdly. Player. Yeah, like it took a minute. Like he was yeah. awful his first year, but I think he's now, you know. Who's the best Gonzaga player in NBA history? Is it already Chet or is it? At John Stockton. Yeah. Like, oh, but, yeah. Right. But I mean, from the from the era oh, of yeah. them sending guys to the NBA, like Sabonis. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I mean, oh. like, it's definitely possible. Like, I think Chet he's soon though made yeah. as many All Star teams as like all of the rest of the guys combined, which is like two. <laughs> but Austin uh, Day, the right. guy I thought was going to pop. Oh, I Day thought he was going to Ooh, uh, yeah. Patrick. Uh, that for four. That was fun. Michigan over Houston, 2018 second round. Um, 2018 would have been... Uh, was this Jordan Poole? It was our guy yes. Jordan Poole. There he is. <laughs> oh, I'm seeing bonus. that JPEG. <laughs> so, there he is. <laughs> All right. Uh, Drew. <laughs> Luis Core for two. Oh, he's going Little for Little Lies Everywhere and Seven Wonders. That's Fleetwood Mac. Correct. Uh, and the uh, the album is wait. God damn it! It's fucking Tango in the Night. It is Tango in the Night. Nice. Wow! Uh, Barry Fleetwood Mac. Uh, give me Ratto for one hundred. Twenty-seven. What's I mean? I have to name the sport. Yeah. That uh, corresponds to the, like this number means perfection in a sport. Okay, so this is baseball. It is baseball. Perfect game. Don't let Tim Burke see this. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> uh, Jasper. Wait, but his argument, but Tim Burke's argument is so long as I've understood it is, it would still correspond to 27. Because if somebody went on base and got out in a double play, right? Isn't yes. that I think that's argument? right, yeah. yeah. Yes, <laughs> that's right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't so want to cool. talk about it. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's not. Yeah. Jasper, pick a category. <laughs> Whose line is it for 300? All right. For 300. If I died tomorrow, no one would shed a tear. Load my freaking lard carcass into the mud. No coffin, please. Just wet, wet mud. Right. Bay. <laughs> uh, that, that is, I think you should leave. <laughs> it is, I think you should leave. From the Instagram <laughs> skit. My, my queen, <laughs> Vanessa Bear. Uh, we love Vanessa Bear. Roth. Uh, Hmm, okay. That was fun. Let's do that for four. My first girlfriend turned into the moon. That's rough, buddy. I don't know. I'm just going to pass. I have no idea. All right. Patrick? Uh, pass. Uh, Drew? Can you play it again, please? Sure. My first girlfriend turned into the moon. That's rough, buddy. Is that the Disney series of Percy Jackson? It is not the Disney series of Percy Jackson. Uh, no. Barry. Who the hell would turn into the moon? <laughs> I'll pass. Jasper? Uh, yeah, I'm like definitely just working from what that could... Is it Teen Wolf? It is not Teen Wolf, and that was it, right? That was real. Yeah, was it I, was, I was kind of hoping one of the Avatar: The Last Airbender. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. yeah, this is where like an young, Albert would have been. Bit, good. Little bit older demo. Yeah. yeah, I thought we were gonna we had a shot at getting Albert or Chris in these, but yeah. Uh, all right, Roth, back to you. Okay. Uh, let's do uh, Ray Dog for three. Eighteen. And this is perfection. Um, oh, shit. Hold on. Pause real quick. I forgot to do betting. Uh, as oh. Someone just reminded me in chat. And this time I on decide. this day of all days, you're yeah. still encouraging such behavior. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Listen, Stop gambling. If Shohei or Shohei's interpreter, if you are watching, please do not bet. Uh, also, why are you, if you're watching, go do, you should, you have yeah. legal bills to pay. You're man. in serious trouble. Like, you, you should not be. Go home and be a family man. Go ahead. Uh, All right, 18. Is that the number of... Is it tennis? Is that like... 
to win a match in straight sets? It is not tennis. That However, if no one else gets it, I'm going to give that to you because technically that is correct. Okay. Well, I just didn't know in, a in, the, in a men's in a grand men's... slam, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll, I'll give it to you if no one else gets it. Patrick. Wow. Uh, some hockey bullshit. It is not mm. some hockey bullshit. <laughs> True. Is it golf where you get a hole in one on every oh, hole? Oh, he's right. I guess that's golf. true. Oh. All right. I, Listen, I never said they had to be realistic perfection. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Barry. I, I could I could do that, but I don't want to. Oh, um, shit. Right, don't don't do that. Wait, I forgot Barry in the bet. Who did I put twice? Oh, I put Jasper twice. <laughs> Oops. Well... <laughs> crushing it it's hard this is basically yeah. early in the morning for us relative to when we usually yeah. do these. yeah i see the sun in your window it's weird. uh barry yeah. <laughs> what did you want sorry uh ratto for 200 300 that's bowling it is bowling uh jasper um uh, let's do big march madness shots for 200 villanova over north carolina 2016 national championship game Jenkins. It is Chris Jenkins. Yes. Hope he's well. Panthers defensive tackle? Yeah, yes. the very yeah. same. Oh. Uh, he did all he could in basketball with that shot, so. So with Aftermath, I have a tendency to, like, read their headlines but not read the stories. I'm going to try it just because I'm not a man of game. Like, I think I would love all the writers, and it's awesome that it's working. Let's do Aftermath for three. See if that right. works. Sorry, we got some spam that I need to delete. Uh, in the chat. There we go. Oh my god, stop pinging. that I show feet. Hold on. And now it's just someone that came in and was like, we can help promote your channel. There we go. Okay, uh, sorry, what did you want? Do the aftermath for three. Break that open. Why so many games journalists end up going into blank blank. Oh, uh, this is what I mean. Like, I see these float by on, like, Blue Sky, and I follow all the people that work at the site, so I see them each, like, three or four times. I just don't have the uh, public relations. It is not public relations. Patrick. Shit, that was my guess. Uh, game development. <clears throat> it is game uh, development. That was my other thought, but all right. Uh, Drew. Uh, Luis, this is going to bite me in the ass at some point, but Luis Cor for three. Mariner's apartment complex, the next best American record, and hope is a dangerous thing for a woman like me to have, but I have it. Okay, that last one makes it sound like Fiona Apple, so I'll guess Fiona Apple. That's a good guess. It is not correct, though. Uh, uh, Barry. Mariner's Apartment Complex. <sighs> Jay Buhner. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Jasper. Funny guy. Mitski? It's not Mitski. Uh, Roth. The... I don't really know who this is. Um, uh, yeah, I'll pass. Uh, Patrick. Um, there's a really great clip of David Lynch saying, Lana Del Rey! Somewhere. <laughs> is that your guess? Yes, it's yeah. That's correct. Do you want to guess the album for double points? Uh, Samur fucking Kalaf. Um, Norman fucking Rockwell, right? <laughs> it is Norman fucking Rockwell. Ooh. Uh, Drew. Um. March Madness shots for one. Duke over Kentucky, nineteen ninety two East Regional Final. Christian Leitner. It is Christian Leitner. Uh, Barry. Uh, give me Ratto for four. I don't know what I'm going to do when we're done with this category. 80 <laughs> and 10 ends. Oh, that's easy. Get out. Get the fuck out of here. Told you it was a manageable Ratto category. Wait. Barry, come on. You can do it. Ask your cat. I don't know. Is this cricket? It is not cricket. Uh, Jasper. Oh, shit. I was going to guess cricket. Mm -hmm. uh, what else is Ratto into? Let's say darts. 
It is not darts. Rough. Yeah, the what is Ray into is a <laughs> Yeah, shit, this isn't gonna get to me. I is think it, it rugby? is rugby? It's not rugby. Patrick. Is it curling? Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, that's oh, I knew he'd get it. Fucking wow. Canadio file. <laughs> yeah. Trip. He is. Um Louis core for five. Okay. Uh, there's a good reason these tables are numbered, honey. You just haven't thought of it yet. London beckons songs about money written by machines, and I constantly thank God for Esteban. Okay, so this is some dipshit emo band you like. So... Oh. Hmm. I did pick the dumbest song titles from this album on purpose. I'll go with My Chemical Romance. It is not my chemical romance. Barry. Pass. <laughs> Jasper. I will guess Mitski again. <laughs> it is not Mitski. <laughs> Roth. It's Fallout Boy. It is not Fallout Boy. Patrick. Um, we heard the Mayor this band's Mayor Pete song play at the oh, walls uh, and getting uh, a blister doing the dance. This is Panic at the Disco. I have no idea what any of their albums are. All right, yeah, that's fair. Uh, it's a fever you can't sweat out. Right. I knew it was some dipshit. I, <laughs> their I first was... album is fun. Awful. Uh, Drew, back to <laughs> March Madness for five. Xavier over Kansas State, 2010 Sweet 16. This is The shot was to send it to double overtime, not to win. Oh, but I'll Xavier pass. did eventually win. I All pass. Right. I don't Barry. know. Barry. Pass. Jasper. Ooh. Yeah, pass. Broth. I'm trying to think of Xavier guys. Um I was hoping to be Bryce Drew. No, yeah, I mean this is it's all right. This Probably. is like that eight kind of era where like the buzzer beater probably made the score like 47 to 46. No, was, <laughs> right, it's like I remember, not it was it a, at 68. It was a relatively high scoring game. This is probably my second favorite March Madness shot since I started like really watching it. And I guess I can tell you the first one's the Farouk Minesh one. The, oh, the, oh I love, I love Northern Kansas. Iowa. Yeah. I was hoping that would show up on this one. Yeah. I thought about it, but then I didn't do it. <laughs> Which one? Uh, it was Ali Northern Farouk Iowa. Minish. Yeah. Northern oh. Iowa against Kansas. That was a cool shot. That was the first day. Uh, I was in the bar. I think it was the first weekend because yeah, they won two the games. Second round, yeah. Uh, All right, fine. Closer. This, this doesn't. I don't know. It's, it's like embarrassing to be drawing a blank on Xavier guys here. I don't think that this lines up. I know. Is it David West? It is not David West. Uh, Patrick. The only. I'm starting to think of Xavier guys. <laughs> this is. Bro, I can't this think of like, any the wins of the pros. So this well, is David like an West. embarrassing Xavier guy to know. He played. I don't know if he played with David West. He was in the Thunder for a while. Is it Samaj Christian? I don't even know who that is. Uh, no. his, his first name is James spelled backwards. Yeah, uh, so. <laughs> uh, that was everyone, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jordan Crawford. Oh, all right. Oh, oh. I that. That game. He rocked. Rocked. I thought he went to Michigan. Mm -mm. No, uh, Jamal did. Oh, yep. oh, that was Jordan Crawford. Is the that. one that had the like. LeBron thing where he like dunked on him or something. Yeah. 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 Jordan, Jordan Robert had a really fun career because I think he has like a 40 point game in the NBA, but also was like very obviously unemployable by yeah. his fourth season. Pure brick. Uh, Jordan, uh, give, back me, to you. <laughs> give me Rado yes. for five. 501 and nine throws. That is darts, I believe. Yeah, I should probably flip those two. Uh, all right. Well, Fair. Thinking. Uh, give me aftermath for 100. What's inside a blink? <laughs> Baseball. Yeah, they interviewed us for that. <laughs> I think I think I they said that I had like one of the best answers. Yeah, I uh, I got close. I think I was missing like one part of it. Uh, Jasper. Um, aftermath for four. Starting a website has taught me too much about blink. Oh, it's uh, it's like my own brain. My, my board, my rules, I'll give that to you. Myself. So close oh, sorry. If, I, if it was just one word, I should have recognized it. Yeah, yeah okay. that's fine. 
I, I think you were on the right track enough. Uh, Roth. Give me the, the line for 500, please. Also, look at Clyde's little mouth. I know, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> Show's gonna last three weeks! Six seasons in a movie! So, uh, the six seasons in a movie thing makes me feel like it's community because that's what people said about it. There's probably some meta thing that could fuck me up, but I'm gonna say community. It is community. Oh, yes. ho, ho. there we go. Uh, Patrick. There were some uh, new Clyde look. picks on Instagram yesterday that were Ooh. terrific. He loves to like belly up to the bar in a funny way, which I love because yeah. he's got his little arms out. Just great shit. A weird posture on that fella. Yep. Yeah. Um, give me Luis for four. Okay. Vito's ordination song, Detroit, lift up your weary head, rebuild, restore, reconsider, and Redford uh, for Yeah Yeah and Papu. This is Sufjan's Michigan album. Yep. I will give you triple points if you give me the exact name of the album. It's uh no I don't I don't remember right. it. It's, it's a long as fuck. Totally Sufjan obnoxious Stevens name. presents yeah. greetings from Michigan, the Great Lakes State, <laughs> but you're still getting double. Points. Rebuild, uh, restore, reconsider is the most obnoxious Sufjan shit there is. But no, the title of that record is right up there with it. No, the well, Illinois no, like... album title is so much worse. Hot. I'll They're pull all... it up in between rounds. It's it's really know. bad. I mean, I love the guy and I wish him well, but yes, the too many exclamation uh, points. Drew. Do the line for two. That was the only <laughs> two-hour period in which you did not send an email to Mr. Hirsch with the title, <laughs> You Can't Make a Tomlet Without Breaking Some Greggs. You sent the same email to him 67 times in one evening. That's succession. It is succession. Very. Uh, aftermath for 200. Ruin and recovery in games journalism with blank blank, and it's a journalist. Gonna pass. Didn't see it. Jasper. Is it just. Is it Gita Jackson? Mm, it is not. Roth. Oh, shit. Tell me. You can tell me, Jasper. You can tell me who it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hmm. I don't, is it Jason Schreier? It is Jason Schreier. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I faintly aware of that headline. Obviously, we should have him back on the, on the show. On the yeah, pod. he rocked. He knows everything, and he was funny too. I would yeah. love to have him back on. Um, give me that for five. Fuck it, Ben. The very dumb reason why I can't play blank, blank, blank. Uh, Dark Souls games. That's a good guess. It's not Ben. That's a better guess than I thought you were going to come up with. Uh, Drew. Super Mario Brothers? It is not Super Mario Brothers. Uh, Barry. Uh, horror video games? No, that was my blog. Uh, oh. Okay, I don't know what the number is, so you're going to have to you know, do your board, your rules. I do, um, though. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, Final Fantasy Eight. That's incorrect, Roth. Close. Thankfully, I was in the blog cave today. It's Final Fantasy VII. It is Final Fantasy VII. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Honestly, wrote the, Luis wrote the 1900-word <laughs> version yeah. of that blog. That's coming tomorrow, baby. Tomorrow. Yep. <laughs> so I, I, I have to tell you that my brother and I, we, we were raised on Benny Hill. We watched Benny Hill all the time. And there was one sketch where Benny was, he was a corrupt uh, game show host. And there was there was a hot girl who was one contestant, and there was a doddering old man who was the other contestant. And he rigged it so that the hot girl would win. And so at one point, yeah. it's like there's like a Price is Right thing, and the the old man rings his bell, and he's like, "Is it nine thousand? And then he goes, nine thousand and two. And ever since then, my brother and I say nine thousand and two to each other. Well, Jasper just got hit by that. Yeah, you did kind of get nine thousand. <laughs> yeah, honestly, if Roth <laughs> wasn't playing, I would have probably given it to you, but because right. he literally had to edit two thousand right. words. No, that's me. fair. Yeah, I feel uh, like you should get good. eight points. You know, like you know what? <laughs> Fine. There. there you uh, go. Ooh, right. ooh. Patrick. Um, give me a Luis Corp, please. Blank space while the streams new romantics. <laughs> this is Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. And the album is. Oh, is it one thousand nine hundred and eighty-nine? 
It is 1,989. Uh, Drew, last the one. Lion. You really are the most devious bastard in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually a tough hunt. One hundred, though. I'm not yeah, sure. I'm actually, actually, can you can you play that again? Oh, gladly. You really are the most devious bastard in New York City. Well, <laughs> no, I I don't know what that is. As a hint, that is said about Samer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Barry, pass. Jasper, that is Matt Barry and uh, what we do in the shadows. It is Matt Berry. Maybe the most shows. Matt Berry shit yeah. imaginable. <laughs> that's uh, that's supposed to be a really good show, right? Yeah. It's yeah. funny. It's, it really gets, fun. it's, it's kept going longer than we stayed with it, but I enjoyed watching the uh, season is, that we watched. Is Jermaine's the guy who does it, right? He's not. Well, he's in it. He's just like, on the creator. Yeah. yeah. Was he in like a cameo role? Maybe. Yeah, he's been in it. He was like part of some like vampiric council or whatever. All right. Chad wants to play it again so. here. Yep. You really are the most devious bastard in New York City. Well, <laughs> doesn't one of Jeremy or Rajat write for them? Yes, they both do now. I think. Oh, right? nice. Um, yeah. All right, what were we going to do in the like between rounds? Why transfer scores? I know someone's um, going to. I, I got something to show off. It's a uh, basketball. Damn. Nice. That's You're cool, hooping? man. Hell That's yeah! Awesome. We love the hoop. Um, I don't think I have oh, any sporting goods around me okay. at the moment. Um, fuck, I was going to look something up as well, and then I forgot what it was. Let's see, what do we got? Um, oh, I can tell oh, I have some something. lore. Okay. I have my uh, credential from the BNP Pyroblast Open. Uh, nice. They gave me, they put the Vela in front of Defector, which oh, would make, with, with this mugshot or photo makes it look like a mugshot, and like, that's my descriptor. <laughs> yep. That's, that's pretty Do you want to share some, some Palm Spring stuff? Did you have a date milkshake while you were out the there? The date shake goes so crazy. I love oh them. Which oh. one? So did you have one that you liked the most? So you can tell California is so goaded that even in this like kind of hell blasted desert country yep. club region, there's still like a delicious agricultural specialty. We, weird um, delicacies based on we, local shit. Yes. In we the desert. Somewhere, we went somewhere called Great Shakes in downtown Palm Springs. Actually, mm-hmm. that was after I dropped gate at the airport. It was fine. It was good. The yeah, date walnut shake. And then we got date shakes at Lappert's, like the date syrup. That shit went crazy. That was so yep. good. We went to one, I think it was called Nights, that was like literally a mm. roadside attraction with like an enormous Ooh. sign. And that was the one that Kate's friend recommended. We got another one out in like further out, like Indio or something. It's like near a casino. Like we basically nice. just like drove for an hour into the desert so that Kate could get a milkshake. And it was good, but the one from uh, Nights was better. They were, okay. I don't know, it, having dates just around like that is crazy. California yeah. rocks, man. There's just a lot yeah. of weird shit out there that um, I know is like normal to people that live out there. I never got over it when I was in school out there, and I don't think I will ever get over it as a visitor. Just like crazy things growing out of the earth. Like in New Jersey, it's just gnarly apples. <laughs> and t- well, by the way, Roth, my, uh, my nephew, he got into the Naval Academy. He got yeah. negged by Pomona. Really? So, yeah. So Pomona wow. was like, I have to feel like the on. Naval Academy is harder to get into than he got into the Naval Academy and the Air Force Academy. Pomona gave him the stiff arm. Tough. Is he going to run the wing T at Navy? Is he a he's a running quarterback? <laughs> he, is, he is waiting for he's waiting for the drop of all the other schools, okay. which is starting right now. I think so. Like, like regular Should admission. Be. My my daughter got into one place, ED. I can't tell you, uh, and um. Like those, their their regular admission letters are going out like today. Like they tell you on the dot. They're like, we're releasing it at like seven o'clock. So like you yeah. shit in a brick. Oh yeah, that's right. They that arrives in an email now. I was thinking yeah. about like the fat envelope and the skinny envelope, but nobody does that shit anymore. Well, that was the other thing. Like we we said to my wife and I weren't really getting a lot of correspondence from the school. Like after she had gotten in, and I was like, she got in, right? Where and like, why are they emailing us? And like, so I, I called the office. I was like, do you guys have our contact information? And they're like, we communicate exclusively with the student for security concerns. Wow. Oh, fuck. So I was oh, like, I, had, I did not think of that. Like, yeah. we don't want to send your fucking, like, abusive stepfather contact information on where you're going to college because he might track you down and kill you or something. Also makes sense that your daughter, as a teen, would have elite OPSEC and you would have no idea that any of this shit is happening at all. I'm going to well, get some like, water. I'll be right back. I was, right. Like, well, you, I was, like, back I was like, can you send us the bill instead of her because she can't pay it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, the thing I want to look up was the Sufjan album title. 
which was Sufjan Stevens invites you to, colon, come on, feel the Illinois. However, what I was remembering that was really obnoxious is the second song title on that album, which I will now read. It is very long. Uh, the Black Hawk War or How to Demolish an Entire Civilization and Still Feel Good About Yourself in the Morning or We Apologize for the Inconvenience But You're Gonna Have to Leave Now or I Have Fought the Big Knives and We'll Continue to Fight Them Until They Are Off Our Lands. So, it's boring how much you sound like Godspeed You Black Emperor song titles. Yeah, except those are like static parentheses, a whole bunch of other shit that I don't remember. I can tell you this because McKenna's not here, but um, there's a really good album from Grant Hart who was in Husker Dude did a solo album. And so I'm going to tell you some of the, the song titles from it because they're some of them are brutal. So one is Run, Run, Run to the Saunter Pompadou. <laughs> nice. And the other one is Let Rosemary Rock 'em, Laura, Laura Louise. So I thought that was like, like uh, I saw the song titles and I was like, I don't know, man. Is this Bella now, Sebastian shit? Like, is no. that what's the gag here? It's but... Grant Hart. It's like it's rock and oh, roll. Okay. But, All right. But he had, it was very pretentious. Uh, so we got, uh, -oh. uh, Alan Cummings voice, uh, the traitors, uh, uh -huh. th that's just questions about traitors, not specifically about the show. Uh, baseball oh. is, oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, baseball is, I'm going to give you a team and position. You have to tell me the name of the Venezuelan who it, that fits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. nice. uh, uh -oh. movies turning 20. I'm going to give you three people from, a cast of a movie that came out in 2004. Nice. You have to tell me the movie. Uh, they are all in the top 50 of the box office. So, again, not super obscure shit. Uh, before and After is Before and After. And Chiptune is... Uh, I'm going to play you... I guess they're 8-bit <laughs> songs. It might, some might be 16. I never can tell the difference. Uh, songs, you have to tell me. I want the song title, not the band. I mean, if you nice. know the band, great, but I'm not giving you points for it. By uh, the way, I, I'm not... I swear this isn't a complaint, but for categories like this... We should always just accept the song or the artist because like, it's do. never consistent. So I do always pretty much accept that. Uh, for this one, there's specific reasons why I want the song title. Oh, all right, all right. Um, but yeah, Barry. Uh, also, Barry, you, you have like an angelic light in the corner of your camera. Yeah. <laughs> it is <laughs> JJ Abrams it lens yeah, flare. Don't do anything effect. about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, sorry, go ahead. Uh, give me the traders for 200. Okay. Every time we have played this game, someone either kills me or votes me out immediately. Uh, Among Us. It is Among Us. Should play that. Did you know they're, watching, they're making like a movie of it? Yeah. So what? stupid. Uh, come on, I mean, come on no. Jasper. You know That's Hollywood. just a clue. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Jasper. Uh, movie's turning 24, 600. Eric Bana, Brian Cox, Brendan Gleeson. My brother loved this movie. It was inexplicable. I love this movie while acknowledging it is not good. All right. It also made a shocking amount of money. Like, it was in, like, the top seven or something of the year. Is this Troy? It is Troy. Wow. I uh, would not have gotten that. Drew. Uh, give me it for uh, the movies for 800. Sean Bean, Harvey Keitel, Diane Kruger. Who is, Diane Kruger is also in Troy. And so is Sean Bean. Yeah, I was gonna say. but this is not Troy again. <laughs> no, I know, I, I know it's not. Yeah, right. Because that was a, that was like the first movie she was seen. Sean Bond. Ah, this is gonna kill me. I'll go with Inglorious Bastards, but it's wrong. That is wrong. Uh, Roth. Huh. I feel like I am completely drawing dead on this. And this is something I would have thought that this would be a category I would do very well in. Uh, can you give me three other actors that are in the movie? Am I allowed to ask? <laughs> no. None of these people are the star of the movie. If That, that is yeah. correct. I had the star in here and then I was like, this is an 800. Let's remove that person. All right. I feel like Harvey Keitel doesn't show up that much anymore. Should be... Here so much these days. He's in the National Treasure TV show, and it's so shitty. And I'm so mad that they made Oh, is this National Treasure? Damn it, oh, Drew! What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> my man, thank you, Drew. I appreciate you. <laughs> oh, Christ. Uh, Patrick. 
<laughs> Patrick's not uh, playing chip, under protest. Chip tune for six. Oh my god. It's a reminder <laughs> I need the song title. <laughs> Where'd they go to high school? Yeah, this oh, is, no. uh, is that a Sacramento band? Oh, well, they're from uh, the place where Dusty Baker is from, which I encourage readers to do their own research about. This Are is, they like uh, Bacaville or something? Yeah, yeah, oh, exactly. Uh, this is Last Resort it by Papa Roach. Uh, fun little lore was when we had Catherine in the office for like her intern week. Was it you, Barry, that asked her for some reason if she knew Papa Roach? Somehow it came up and she was like, I have no idea what that is. And so we played her last resort. Uh, Barry. Uh, traitors for 400. As an accomplished traitor, his name is now synonymous with betrayal. Uh, Benedict Arnold. Yes, I would have also accepted Judas because I yeah, I was going to say oh, yeah. after I wrote it that that also works. Uh, Jasper, uh, let's do movies for a thousand. Chris Christopherson, Jessica Biel, Ryan Reynolds. Oh fuck! I think I know this. And yeah, he was definitely his Christopherson in this one. Yeah. <laughs> Should we get off the pot, Jasper? I want to answer. Uh, Wolverine? It is not Wolverine. Uh, Drew. Is it Green Lantern? It is not Green Lantern. Oh, shit! That was like five, six years later? Something like that? Uh, Ra. This is the, the Blade sequel. I need, Which one? I need oh, a little sorry, more it's... than that. All right. Yeah. Uh, oh. Three. The All third right. one. I'll give you that, even though it's technically blade trinity trinity all right is that movie okay. good no, no. <laughs> blade there's 2 defenders. is amazing blade trinity is not good yeah there's defenders for the first two and then on the third one they're just like well chris christopherson is fantastic man i never i never saw blade 2 but all i remember is harry Knowles's disgusting movie review of it and so yeah. uh, oh. uh but i will say the best part of blade trinity is triple h doing maybe the worst acting anyone has ever done in anything <laughs> you can't act in a wrestling ring exactly i will uh just indulge myself briefly in a where do you go to college on chris christopherson oh really wow. where do you go mona okay. college yeah mona mona cava no pomona, pomona college, college. Drew. Jeez. Triple H went to Pomona? This is terrible. I'm not even going to participate <laughs> right. in this. Stuff. All right. Chris All right. Christopherson. <laughs> Pat oh, okay, okay, okay. Jeez. Traders for six. Traders for six. Know. Your hint is anonymous. Guy Fox. It's Guy Fox. Uh, Barry. It doesn't quite work as a smoke <laughs> in that shit, but I'd accept it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what the hell? Let's do movies for 200. Lindsay Lohan, Rachel McAdams, Tina Fey. Uh, mean Girls. It is. That's uh, impressive for you, Barry, because you watch I know. half a movie a year. <laughs> I used to watch movies in 2004. <laughs> I just watched the Mean Girls musical from this year yesterday. Truly one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Really? I actually saw really? that on Broadway. It was really bad. Oh, I would have the, assumed um, it worked as a Broadway thing, but it did not work as a film. Did you see the, the the? It was a viral tweet where someone had their camera up. Yeah. Theater when they started breaking the song, and I was like, "Oh." Yeah, it, I actually <laughs> looked for it yesterday, but it got uh, taken down for copyright. I had one. I I had to go to a screening of Wonka, and I I did not know it was a musical. And he starts saying, "I'm like, oh fuck, I'm, fucked. <laughs> I'm so fucked." Uh, Jasper, let's break open before and after for six. Okay. This new Falcons quarterback takes a break from rehabbing his Achilles injury to explore the far reaches of space. Oh, oh, the rever Oh, Captain Kirk Cousins. Sure, and James T. Kirk Cousins. Yeah. Uh, Drew, you were four and after for eight. Cuba Gooden Jr. wants to get paid for judging a dog competition. Best and show me the money. Best and show me the money. Wow. Wow. Good shit. Yep. Uh, rough. Let's go to Venezuela for six. 
Miami Marlins second baseman. Like, currently? Oh, yeah, these are all on current rosters as far as I could confirm. I'm, okay. I'm so fucked. You're going to run the house on this, Rob. The, uh, the bat control king, Luis Arias. It is Luis Arias. I'm glad to be after Roth. Uh, <laughs> Other people uh, know who baseball guys are. Um, give me traders for eight. This is a question about the traders television program. Uh, both U.S. <laughs> seasons of the traders have been won by alumni from reality competition shows. Name one of the shows for the points, both for an extra 400. Um, what's her name? It was a survivor person, the first one. Okay, so again, name one of the shows. I'm not going to make you name the people. Oh, oh, all right. So then Survivor. Okay, do you want to guess the other one? I'm actually in the middle of watching the second one, so I'm going to close my oh, eyes. Oh, okay. Uh, no one say anything. He was right about Survivor. We'll move on. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, Barry. Uh, before and after for 200. Before and after for 200. A Texas family goes out to eat Whoppers for dinner on a rather boring cartoon episode. Burger King of the Hill. Burger King of the Hill. Uh, Jasper. Um, before and after for a thousand. I went to the Southern Food Staple to read a, quote, experimental 2000 novel by Mark Z. Danielewski. Ooh, boy. Fun fact, I have just started reading this for the first time. Yeah. Like, Good yesterday. Luck. Okay, well, it seems like other people have a handle on this, so I will pass. All right, true. Pass. Uh, Roth. Is this Waffle House of Leaves? It is Waffle House <laughs> of Leaves. That's a powerful thought that is. That's crazy. Yeah, that's really <laughs> fact, good. I have it right here. Yeah. Um, Was Waffle House good? I've literally never been to Waffle. Yep. I've not been to one either. It's less that uh, it's good or bad. It's just it's an, it's a thing. Wait, it's did I give Roth his point? No, you didn't. No, you did. Points. Okay. You did? No, wait, no. did I or did I not? No, no, You now I have them. I was at yeah, the yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, chip tune for eight. Chip tune for eight. Oh, quiet. Ha 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 You know, this song's in the remake of National Treasure, and it's just terrible. Drew, no. shut up. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. I was, make, hey, I, I was you, making a joke. When you talk, I can't hear the song. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, yeah, just as a reminder, when a song's playing, if you talk because of how Zoom layers audio, it will cut off the song. <laughs> so you need to not. Uh, yeah, but my voice is cooler than the song. <laughs> uh, pass, I don't know. Uh, Barry. Is it 1979? It is 1979. By Smashing what Bros. is the reason we're not allowed to name the artist in this category? You will find it's, out. I mean, you can name it, but... Uh, One of them must be Peter Butter, Peanut Butter Jelly Time. No, there's... Cheap. there's. I think two of the ones that are left, I would prefer you say the song title. Uh, Jasper. Uh, let's do baseball for 400. Like, did you only pick Gary Glitter songs or something no. like that? <laughs> Atlanta Braves outfielder. Ooh. Why am I blanking so hard on all of these young guys? Uh... I think if you can only think of one Braves outfielder, you'll think of the right guy. Hey, that... hey, don't help him. Drew, you, you gave for us I know, I'm trying to, I'm I didn't paying need... it forward. Is it, is it Ronald Acuna? It is Ronald Acuna. <laughs> All right, uh, Drew. I hope Jasper wins by eight. <laughs> I do too, I was thinking. <laughs> uh, let's take a big chance at the high school dance and do chip tune for a grand. I'm good, so... All right, remember to not talk while it's playing. All right.
play it again, please? Oh my god. Uh, how do I do it? Like that. Also, real quick, uh, Jasper has eight points because he guessed Final Fantasy VIII when it was Final Fantasy VII, and we just gave him a point. No, I don't have to do it. I, I don't have to hear it again. It's Freak on a Leash. It is Freak on a Leash. This <laughs> was is. one where I was like, people might recognize that it's Corn, but not remember the exact song title, so I wanted the song title. It's, I think that's the only Corn song I like. Fair enough. Uh, Roth. Uh, I'll do baseball for eight. Seattle Mariners third baseman. Well, current? They traded him. That's oh, the guy they? I'm thinking of. It's Eugenio Suarez. Yes. Where did they trade yeah. him? Nice going, asshole. They trade, they trade him to the Diamondbacks. <laughs> oh, whoops. Well, you got it yeah. anyway. It's okay. I just... And you took the lead, uh, Patrick. Feels amazing. Uh, traders for a Thondo. This guy betrayed the Spartans to the Persians as depicted in Zack Snyder's cinematic masterpiece, 300. Um, pass. Mm, Barry. Name was Efeltis? Close enough for me. Efeltis. Wow. Efeltis. Yeah. Is that the guy with all the shit in his face? Yeah. Yeah. All right. uh, Jasper. Uh, movies for four. Kirsten does James Franco, Alfred Molina. That must be Spider Man 2. It is Spider Man 2. Drew. Before and at, No. Yeah, before and after for four. This liar liar lives in a pineapple under the sea. <laughs> oh, this is good. I like this. They're really silly. Oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I like the slow cascading. SpongeBob SquarePants on fire. It is SpongeBob SquarePants on fire. <laughs> That's like, very silly. That's I kept thinking of Jim Carrey. I was like, yeah, yeah. me too. Yeah. So I ran my girlfriend through these boards, you know, as I often do to see if there's any out uh, outliers in difficulty, and she was like, no one's gonna get that because they're all gonna think of Jim Carrey. I'm like, well. Uh, I was like, is it like a Trump person? Like, am I, do I think of like, the mooch? Like, uh, Roth. Uh, so. Just do it. Hey, get. Well, but I. If, Come what on. What if the thousand one will get back to me? So I get to choose. I'll do the baseball for 200. You said that's for a second baseman. This is uh, Jose Altuve. That's yes, Jose Altuve. That's <laughs> good game that theory. But Venezuelan. Patrick. Yeah. Fuck it. Thousand. Okay. New York Mets second baseman. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking great. Uh, this is, <laughs> well, this is, of course, um, you know, most people know him as a guy from Santa Barbara who, of course, went to elementary school with Lexi. Oh. But he's secretly Venezuelan. This is Jeff McNeil. <laughs> so hold on, hold on. This might, I don't know if this gives away to anyone but Roth, but this was another one I did not fact check. And has he, he has not been on the Mets for a year. He's well out of baseball. But no, he... he is on the Toronto Blue Jays now, or at least in their organization. Okay. Anyway, sorry. This is why I don't oh, well, baseball that, that changes. Yeah. That changes do, do you want to change your guess while I fact check that? Um, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with Jeff McNeil. Okay. I think that's, I think that's... <laughs> that's correct. Congrats. Uh, Barry. Yeah, he was on the Mets two teams ago, so my bad on that one. I think I probably just looked at a list of like Venezuelan players in baseball, and it just was old. All right, I'll pass on this. Uh, you Jasper. know who it is, Barry. Barry's worried about secretly winning by accident. Uh, boy, no, I I will pass. Drew, Omar Vizquel, checkmates. Uh, Roth. No one remembers that Robinson Cano is on the Mets. That's just, like, not important to anybody. Hey, Roth. Is it not Robinson it's Cano? Not Robinson, Robinson Cano, Cano is not Venezuelan. Yeah. Who is he, Puerto Venezuela. Rican? Uh, I think incredible. he's Dominican. He's Dominican. Dominican, shit. However, he's going racist. That's not I am like, now, I looked it I up. say any of that. Hold on. I looked it up. Does it change? I mean, it does change your answer. I might not give you the points for it because this was just a fucked up question. Apparently, Wikipedia has him as a third baseman, this person. Does that help? All right. 
So he's not on the Mets and he's not a second baseman. This clue but fucking he was. sucks, man. Oh, oh, no, is, it, Edward, is it Eduardo so Escobar? Obvious. It is Eduardo Escobar. I'm still not going to give you points because you didn't even guess it as well. So. All right. But yeah, okay, so... I, I'll wear it. That's fine. Definitely my fault, but also <laughs> you didn't even think about that one, so... Yeah. Uh, Patrick? Bruce Dar Gratterall is Venezuelan, right? Yes, that's true. Sick-ass name. Yep. Uh, yeah, give it to me for four. Okay. Aww. <laughs> You play it again. Sorry. Oh, Come on. Fuck off. Yeah, pass. I definitely heard this a million times, but oh, All right. these are Fair. so. That is no rain. It is no rain. I think uh, someone in the comment part? section threw down and they didn't that they thought that song was bad, and I was like, "Do not even." Uh, Jasper, you got the yep. two hundred. This was the other one where I was like, "There's a chance you might not get the song title," but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> that one just kind of slapped like i really like that one yeah I have like not a glimmer of recognition on what that was. So oh, I'm gonna pass. Wow. wow. Drew. It's closer. Yeah. So I was thinking like maybe someone didn't oh. remember that was the name of the song and goes like fuck you like an animal or something. Yep. So then we're you, banned. If you, if you saw Where the video, you never forgot the name of the song. True. Um, Can I right. share as penance a bit of Eduardo Escobar information that I hold very near to my heart? It sounds uh, like a threat. Yeah, I no. I regret. <laughs> Yes, it's yes, his social it's his social security number and I want everybody to have it. It is so I I probably have talked about this. You all know about him, him being like a Fogo de Chao steakhouse super fan. Why no. would I know oh, that? No. I don't know because I talk about up? things. Because I talk about things <laughs> in Slack. So he is like he loves Fogo de Chao. It's really important to him. It's the only thing he ever posted about when he posted on social media is how much he loved Fogo. And they gave him he has like a Fogo de Chao like global ambassador black card he like eats for free at every fogo de chow on earth because he's like done more <laughs> right, for their brand sick. yeah so that was when he was with the mets that was like his whenever he hit a homer he would post like fogo power the guy just <laughs> loves to have steak carved off of a skewer by a sword that's Honestly, like his favorite thing same, though. Have, 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 have you gone like is it good yeah i haven't been to fogo i've been to i went to a churrasco in uh, Brazil when we were there and it it rocked. I mean, it's like it's like a steakhouse. It wasn't yeah. like the American experience of it. Like it wasn't really like different type of stagecraft. But yeah, yeah it tasted good. I've been to one in uh, like yeah, Midtown. I would, give it a <laughs> I would get real wide about it. <laughs> uh, I went to one in Midtown a few times. Um, like when I graduated, that was like where we went to after to eat. Uh, it was really good. Fogo is yeah, like fine. Oh. There's a Fogo right across from the Met. If you want to have an amazing <laughs> cultural day in New York City, you can um, check out the water lilies and then go across the street and eat six pounds of beef. All right, so I promised everyone would be out by 6.15. It is 6.01. So here is your final category. 
achievement in recent cinematic history. Oh, Go course, ahead yeah. and message me your bit about. Mm -mm. I have one, two, three. Waiting on Jasper now for. Okay. I just want everyone to understand I bid 3,000 points. So I hope I win. You all zero yes. out and I win by. <laughs> I think everybody. You know what you like have to do. Outcome. Yeah. Um, all right. Your question is there were 10 nominees for the Best Picture Oscar, as I meant to say, this year, as in like happened like last weekend. Uh, name them. If you get six right, you got your bet amount. Uh, if you get eight, you will get an additional 2,000 points. And if you get all 10, you will get an additional 5,000 points. That does not add to the 2,000. You just get 5,000 total. Okay. Well, I was about to say, try to send them in one message so my um, poor phone doesn't blow up. It's fine. You already started. <laughs> Drew immediately sent, like, five messages. <laughs> Uh, it's just easier for me to tell when people have submitted theirs when it's in one message. Also, I have learned from other people's hosting to not do, like, percentage of bids, because I don't want to do math. So it's much easier to just do, like, default values. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Also, uh, you don't get negative points if you guess 10 and, like, Two are wrong or something. Like, feel free to guess up to ten. All right, I have. I'm, I'm duffing this. This is a bad feeling. <laughs> uh, I think I have three peoples. Drew, are you done? I don't know. I, I I guess I'll stop. I mean, you I, can I, keep going. I still haven't gotten everyone else's. Oh, okay. All right. Tell me. T just cut me off. Please. Yeah, I will. Here, it's my phone says six oh four. I'll give you till a bit past six oh five. Mm. Also, actually, I'll give you probably longer because I still don't have Roths. So, um, let's see what is Chad doing? Hmm. Okay, some good good chat guesses here. Oh, did Roth oh no, you're here there. No, I didn't send mine yet. Yeah, no, I I you moved on my thing for some reason and I thought you you were Drew and Drew was like off camera for a sec. So I was like, Did you go ask Kate? <laughs> no, she's she's not here. There's no one here to help me. Uh why would I have forgotten the I like even watched some of the Oscars? All right, Drew is done. I'm assuming right. Barry, Patrick, and Jasper are done, and there. I got it. Is. I'm pretty sure I got it wrong. I sent six. Okay, you don't want to guess four more. I mean, I'm like kind of mad at myself right now. Here, I'm <laughs> no. gonna start a timer. You have thirty seconds if you want to send more. Uh, <laughs> sure. Or else you die. I know it's flipped. Just deal. Everybody, with it. just say some movies. Everybody, give me some movies. What are some good movies? Mean Girls, the musical. Yeah. yeah, I have that one already. I feel like this was a pretty good set of nominees this year. Like the ones I saw were all good. It was a it was a really good movie year. I yeah, and the ones I haven't seen, I, sometimes it's like, oh, half of these I literally have no interest in. The ones I haven't seen, like most of them, I'm like, yeah, I would like to see that. I think. Yeah, and that's a big part of it. All right, Roth sent one more in those thirty seconds, so we will get going. All right, Jasper goes first where is he so he bet three thousand um he said anatomy of a fall oppenheimer american fiction the holdovers poor things past lives maestro kills the flower moon barbie god damn it i can't get the tenth uh that is in fact nine though oh okay all so right you so i get didn't... six thousand eight plus two so eight thousand eight that's a nice little symmetrical Ooh. number 
All right, Barry. Ooh, my favorite Rush album. Barry, <laughs> Barry Bed at all said Barbie, Oppenheimer, Maestro, Zone of Interest, Poor Things, Past Lives, Indiana Jones, and the Dial of Destiny, <laughs> which was nominated for an Oscar. That was, uh, that was Barry's favorite because it's the only one of those movies he saw. Yeah. Is that the one that won? No. I gave it a good review. It was perfect. Uh, but anyway, Barry Bed at all, so, and he had six, so he gets his bet. Uh, Drew Bed at all. Oppenheimer, Barbie, Anatomy of a Fall, Poor Things, Killers of the Flower Moon, Past Lives, The Holdovers, Zone of Interest, American Fiction, I'm Done. That's nine. Uh, so Drew is, what, 7,800? Uh, 9,800. And I believe that was all 10 said, because I think the one... Uh, hold on. Did you both forget the same one? Maybe. All right, fuck it. I know... I forgot Maestro. No, we you didn't We didn't forget the same one, because he got Zones of Interest. Zone of Interest, but I did not get that. Okay, but that means you, we have them all. Well, we I'll just do all. Patrick's. Uh, Patrick said all... He said Oppenheimer, Maestro, Barbie, Poor Things, Flowers of the Killer Moon, which I don't know if it was <laughs> a bit or just messed it up, but I'm going to give bit. it... Uh, Past Lives, American Fiction, Holdovers, Anatomy Fall, and Zone of Interest. That is all ten... Damn, Patrick nice. Is, uh, what, 10,400? So 15,400? Yep. Uh, there was just yelling in my house. That's a little concerning. Let's uh, finish this so I can go see what that was. Uh, and Roth, bet it all, said Maestro, Coach of the Flyer Moon, Oppenheimer, Anatomy of a Fall, American Fiction, May, December, which is not one, and Barbie. So that is six. So. Uh, that is 11,800. Nice. So Patrick wins. Geology questions on deck. Let's go. I think May December was better than any of those movies, honestly. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I think wow. it's better in a lot of them. I, I like Past Lives the most from last year. I love Past Lives. Oh I God. overthought it. Man. I finally like, I saw was... it. I thought it was terrific. Really? Yeah. 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 We have that on deck. We recorded it. Is this like on HBO now or whatever? It's very funny. I thought it was yeah. great. Mm. It seems like every one of these like was at the very least like very likable but i yeah whatever. except my I, I, my is not likable yeah my is a piece of shit my i, dad I did liked not like it. it my dad is 81 it's definitely a, a parents movie i think yeah uh anyway oh. congratulations patrick uh thank you everyone for playing and for watching in the new time slot um Patrick, do you, I don't remember when you last hosted. Do you want to host in two weeks? Yeah, this is a couple months ago. Yeah, I'll do it in two weeks. All right, cool. So we'll have Louis, I probably owe you a board. At some I was going to say, if, if, yeah. if Patrick didn't, because Roth just did. Jasper, Drew, you can do it instead. I guess I Drew also could have hosted. But, I yeah. mean, I'll, I'll start working on some. Yeah, we can yeah. we can coordinate. Okay. But yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it. But probably, I think, Patrick boards uh, in two weeks. So that's the, fuck, whatever that first Thursday in April is. Um, the fourth. Yeah, sure. That sounds right. Uh, cool. Uh, that was super fun. Thanks, Louise. Yeah, Great boards, man. Thank you, guys. Uh, right yeah, on let's time. Let's go as well. uh, offline. Yeah, six ten. Uh, what is it, Jasper? I'm uh, giving you back. giving five minutes back. Yeah, that. Giving five <laughs> minutes. All right. Thank you, everyone. Bye. All right. Bye. 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 Yep.